Hey there, everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Ladder, where I'm still playing the uh, the Christmas theme team. I'm still wearing this dumb hat, and we we have uh, Ryu, where the rating of was a 15 something. Okay, what in goodness gracious is going on here? So we got Toga de Maru, Toga de Mer, Toga de Mer, <sighs> Silvali, which I don't know what type it is. He has an executor. He he and or she, they have an executor. Here. Um, I think Torko Lilligan's a pretty good lead here. Honestly. Yeah, it's good. It's good. If like the executor tries to set up Trick Room, we're fine. He brings Gastron, we're fine. Uh, I definitely want executor here. And I think Oranguru is... Just pretty great all around. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this. Uh, I'm not sure what they're gonna do to stop this. Lilligan Torkoal, I don't really bring it that much, and in fact, the team originally didn't even have Lilligan on it. I had Torkoal without Lilligan, and I just kinda, they kinda just put it on there because I was having trouble against uh, Tapu Koko Raichu. Uh, well, I really just Tapu Koko in general. So I, I put it on because, you know, that Bloom Doom just does so much damage, especially from Modest. Oh my God, it does so much damage. Tapu Koko Toga tomorrow. Okay, so I expected something like this. It's gonna be like a protect discharge. Thing is here. Um Okay, so the Toga tomorrow probably has poison jab. I think here we just double protect. And then I ha might have to after you if it's not focus sash, I might have to after you eruption next turn. What do they have in the back? Nothing that really wants to take that. Unfortunately, I I know I know far too well how dangerous Toga tomorrow can be. Um, what, what, do, yeah. Okay. So yeah, it, it, it can fake out, and it, and I can't let it encore next turn. So um, I will have to after you eruption. If it wants to encore either of those moves, I'm okay with that. So. We, Kind of an obvious play, but we kind of have to make it. You know, it's just one of those ones you got to do. Thunderbolt. It doesn't even fake out. Okay. I'm sorry. Is that Z move Token Maru? What? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> this is a new one. This is new. What? What is it? Ah. It's got. Okay, so it does have poison jab. It, it does have poison jab. But that means it's not Focus Sash. It could be sturdy, though. But here's the thing. What's it going to do to Torkoal? What's it gonna, what is it going to do to Torkoal? I'm just going to Eruption here. And I'm going to... I don't want to After You Eruption. That might be the play. Do I take... I, you know, I think I'll do that. Because if Lilligan goes down, then that's fine. I'll bring in, um, what's it called? A Rangaru. And we'll just go from there. Spiky Shield, that's fine. Top of, uh, so I guess a Bloom Doom into the, uh, the Top of Coco might have been better. But this will still do a lot of damage to it. Like, a lot of damage. Oh, Torkoal took your kind offer. So that makes me think it's not sturdy, the way that it had Spiky Shield there. Tapu Koko gets just knocked out. Mama said knock you out. Get out of here. Toga tomorrow, you are cute, but I want you gone. I want you gone. Pre-Marina. Hmm. That's a bit trickier. That's a bit trickier. Because that thing will resist our eruption. Do I want Executor in here? Possibly. How many turns of Sun are left? Three turns of Sun. Do I just want to double protect here? No, you know what? I'm going to Bloom Doom the Pre-Marina. Toby tomorrow really can't do a whole lot to... Okay, so Premier did not protect. This Bloom Doom's probably gonna knock it out. 
probably gonna knock it out. I'm just gonna say it's probably gonna knock it out. Yeah, so I don't Toba tomorrow really can't do a whole lot to Torkoal. Primarina, even though we're in the sun, could do a good amount of damage because it's got really good special attack. I have seen some assault vest Primarina, which are annoying to deal with, but not the end of the world. But I still don't think it's gonna take this. I mean I mean, okay, if it's assault vest me. This is this is a crap ton of damage. Yeah, it's modest, modest Lilligan. That's just so much damage. Oh my god. So much damage. Poison jab. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about here. So the poison jab is unfortunate. Oh, we survive. And we don't get poison. Wow. So those HP EVs I put in are really coming in handy, y'all. They didn't come in handy in the last game, but they came in handy this one. So we got Gastrodon. Uh, thing is, I have a... I have an executor on the back. So what do I do here? How many turns of sun are left? Gastrodon might protect. I think here. I'll just flamethrower the, uh, the token tomorrow. And I'm going to try and... The Gastrodon might have protect. If it does, I'm going to try and bait it out. So I'll still have one more turn of sun after this. Okay, oh, they just forfeit. Perfect. Woo! Yeah! Yeah, because, I mean, I guess they, they didn't have Protect on Gastron and they expected a Leaf Storm. Which is, you know, fine. I, I still haven't gotten to use the Sleep Powder yet. Z Sleep Powder is pretty cool, too. Like, if they don't have Tapu Koko in there, they have some kind of weather, and they want to switch it in, instead of Bloom Dooming, you can... Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, instead of Bloom Dooming, you can Z Sleep Powder, put one of their Pokemon to sleep while you have the Speed Advantage, and then the Z Sleep Powder gives you a plus one Speed Boost, so that even when they have... You know, they bring in their, their range that are like Polytoad or something. You can still outspeed. And then, you know, like after you or like or Leaf Storm or whatever. Or Sleep Powder, the other thing. It gives you options is the point. So that's something I have on there because Sleep Powder is just good. And the Bloom Doom is cool. It does so much damage. It's a really offensive attack. For something like Lilligan to be able to do that much damage, it's pretty great. And, and also, I mean, I've hardly ever used Z Sleep Powder. But a couple times it has come in handy. So we're at 1608. We're kind of hovering around that 1600 mark, which is... Hey, I know. It's a whatever. Hey, listen, pick up good music. Okay, so we've got... Oh, my God. I, I didn't get to read it. Yamaoka Clover. That's weird. Okay, this. This right here, though. What in goodness gracious is this? So we got the, we got the chicken, the Tapu Koko. Uh, the Araquanid, which is a gross spider. Uh, the Politoed, the Metagross, the Oranguru, and the and the Parasect. So. <sighs> Araquanid is slow, but it's not slower than Torkoal. Tor How slow is Parasect? I don't know. But looking Torkoal might be a great lead here, honestly. Base 30. Torkoal slower. Um, Pheromos might be the way to go. Although... The Parasite can have Rage Powder and Wide Guard, so I might want Lilligan for that. He doesn't have any Intimidate. I kind of want my own Faramosa. I kind of want Faramosa... And I'll bring... Do I want Exeggutor? Do I want Exeggutor? Do I want Murkrow? Murkrow might be good. No, I'll bring Exeggutor. Torkoal, and Lilligan. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and prevent the Trick Room from going up this game. I'm going to bring Torkoal Lilligan in the back in case they want to lead Rain. I'm okay with that. He doesn't have a Swift Swim user. But what I am worried about, I'm very worried about uh, Oranguru Araquanid. I've seen just firsthand how much it's like Surf Araquanid, like Instruct Surf Araquanid with Telepathy Oranguru is broken. But that's, that lets me think that this Oranguru is not going to be able to take a double target. Type of Coco Oranguru. That's fine. That's totally fine. Um, thing is, a okay, a really good play from them would be to protect Oranguru. That would be so good. But what I want to do here... I do that. And I'll wood hammer into the same slot, because why not? Just in case. If Papa Coco wants to wants to attack here, fine. 
Ugh, that's irritating. We'll still get some damage off, but this is irritating. He's just going to Dazzling Gleam. A U-turn would have been better. That was a good. That was a really good play. We'll, we'll get some damage on it though. So uh, if it does have Trick Room, we will be able to eruption knock it out. So this will do a good amount. But all, I mean, all the, all the top of Coco here has to do is discharge, and he's going to do a lot of damage to both of us. Yeah, I don't think a Rangaroo can take that. So this sucks. Dazzling Gleam. Yep. Dazzling Gleam. That's a lot of damage. So that's annoying. But it looks like we might have to go for a trick room of our own. They have the rain mode. Oh, we already used the Z fighting move, so I can't even... I was going to Bloom Doom the top of Coco, but I can't. I, I want to take up the top of Coco. I'm not too worried about a Rangaroo, really. Top of Coco is a problem. I can't just let him discharge or Dazzling Gleam. Okay, so it looks like Tapu is attacking here. Okay. Lilligan should be able to take that. It's not Life Orb. Lilligan should be able to take that. Okay, yes. And then we can Leaf Storm knock that out, hopefully. That's okay. It'll probably bring in Araquanid. But it's not the end of the world. Oh, he goes for a Psychic. Okay, so it's not even a Trick Room. So, we get our Citrus Berry back, which is nice. What does he bring in? If he brings in a Raquinid, we're kind of okay here. The Top of Coco was a huge threat that's now gone. Unfortunately, we lost Faramosa. But, I mean, I didn't mind Executor taking damage there because I know we can heal back with the Citrus Berry. We get Politoed. This is great. This is great. Unfortunately, Politoed is going to Ice Beam. Which kind of sucks. I am faster though, so I can after you wood hammer. And that's kind of what I have to do here. I think it'll knock it out. I'm I'm max attack executor. And we do have we do have speed. So yeah. You forget I'm still faster without the sun. So this should knock out the polytope. Yes! Yes! We want to set up trick room. Okay. It's not it's not great, but it's not the worst. I mean, if he has a rack when he's in the back, we're gonna have to play around it, which you know. Psychic, okay. Still going for psychic. That's alright. If, okay, if he has a rack in the back now, we're really good. Okay, um uh, things gross. Let me real quick try and do this adamant. 52. Woodhammer. Araquanid. Our Woodhammer is doing 60 to 70. Gotta get some damage on that thing. Maybe I just want to go into the Orangaroo. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay, did I get that off? Please tell me I got that off. Okay, we hit the Leaf Storm. We'll get a good amount of damage here. We should, we should be able to wood hammer this thing in the face. That's not how that works, bud. Okay, so now the Arachnid is all by itself. We bring out Torkoal, and we will heal our Citrus Berry here. Oh, no, we don't. We didn't get it back. 
This is going to do a lot of damage. Luckily, Exeggutor takes it, though. If we could harvest a Citrus Berry here in the rain, that'd be great. But we did it. Yes. 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 Which means, uh, I mean, the Araquanid could leech life. It might be, it might be choice locked. I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to get the sun up here. And we're going to hit this thing for... We can't eruption because it can just water move. But we can flamethrower. Yeah, I think we have to double attack here, unfortunately. I'd like to be able to protect Exeggutor, but I gotta get I gotta get this damage off. Because if it, yeah, if, if he targets just the Torkoal. We could have protected Torkoal there, but I was also worried about a leech life. That's good. Torkoal takes it. And this is why we flamethrower. So a leech life there could have been bad. Yo, a Rackwind is a monster. That thing sucks to play against. Like it's truly devastating. And we get we get our citrus berry back and we'll heal up. This is why I love Exeggutor next to Torkoal and Trick Room, depending on the type matchup, is really good. We should be able to clutch this one out. Like look at like Exeggutor has taken so much damage, and but we keep healing back, so it's really nice. And here we just I mean we just double attack. There's nothing they can do about it. We win the game. It's a minimum speed of rack win for Trick Room. Woo! Yeah! Yo, Exeggutor just put in the finest of work. And Lilligant pulled its weight, too. Like, it took out... The Lilligant took out the top of Coco. It it let us after you, the Exeggutor, so we could one hammer knock out the Politoed. It, like, it just did so much work. It was so good. Lilligant, why are you so good? Anyways, I'm not going to save that one. But, um, yeah, my opponent really just, at, towards the end there, we just kind of put them in a corner they couldn't get out of. So, anyways, that's going to be it today, guys, for Ladder Up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know what you think of the team. Let me know if you hate this hat. I don't care. I'm going to wear it for the next two days. And I hope to see you back for another episode of Ladder Up.